Hello everyone, this is Tas, and this video is not a tutorial, it's a presentation and a little bit more information about Tileable Noise Collection I'm going to share with you here and on Derivative Forum and on my Patreon page. So, Tiling Noises is, uh, as comes from a name, it's a noise that could be tiled into like almost infinitive many times and there is no stitches as you could see uh, the noise is repetitive uh, repetitive but uh, there is no stitches anywhere and you could repeat it as many times as you want and on any axis you want and you could also change the resolution of a noise something like maybe something crazy actually super long noise and let's repeat it here one times and here ten times and you still have something something without stitches all right so uh, why do you need this I don't know why do you need this but uh, me personally mostly interested in these tileable noises anytime when I'm doing like a texture displacement and no matter is it uh, in polygonal geometry on on my favorite remarching thing as you probably know if you just use a sphere and put some uh, soap noise it's very costly on CPU so very common technique is to use uh, some kind of noise and displace uh, displace vertices here on a Fong uh, material on or on uh, PBR material or on jello cell material as well and normally here I have um, the absolutely the same setup but with a regular top noise and if I use this uh, top noise instead of this tileable noise uh, let me do it here you have a very visible and ugly stitch and uh, let me do it on all three of geometry sometimes it's more visible sometimes it's less visible but here i see it clearly here and here so that that's not good and that's why uh, tileable noises could help a lot uh, the easy trick to make it was and i used it before is to put a tile top and here on overlap you just fit and fit to the maximum and the stitch almost vanished there is still a little bit visible but much much better but uh, here on the tile bell noise it's even better it's without any visible stitches at all except uh, except uh, here on um, uh, sorry here on the sphere of course you would have something some kind of issues on the pole because you coded you couldn't map uh, a rectangle or a square into a sphere and that's why and that's because we have that's why we have different map projection because you couldn't take like uh, earth planet and make uh, a rectangle map without any without any issues and here as well when you project a rectangle or a square into a sphere you have some stuff going on but you could try to minimize it with the texture anyway uh, what do I need to say about this tileable collection? First of all, it's not made by me mostly. It comes from this uh, nice uh, GitHub repository from a Tuxelin with a tileable pr procedural textures. And uh, here's the demonstration on shaded toy as well. All I did is uh, make a touch designer conversion and touch designer 
interface for this. And I didn't do any, any UE on a container because the different noises has a different set of parameters and sometime, sometimes some noises have a lot of parameters. So that's why there is no way to make a simple UE that comes from for any noise. Uh, the code itself, uh, probably if uh, you probably you don't need to bother about code and you don't need to understand any JLSL at all to use it, but maybe I'll explain a little bit about what's going on. Here on the code for every top, mostly it's just uh, calling a function calling the function, in this case, uh, FBM Perlin, fractal brown motion Perlin noise, with some parameters that comes from here. And you could, of course, play with the parameters. That translate in all of the noises, it's translating our coordinate, so it moves noise in uh, vertical on, in horizontal, in horizontal on vertical directions, and scaling it a little bit, And other parameters, it somehow affects the noise as well. Uh, not all the noises, but some noises, uh, some no well, some noises have only these dynamic parameters, like translation. So it can, could be translated uh, in vertical or in horizontal direction. But other noises also have some other other dynamical parameters so it could transform as you could see something is changing but it doesn't move in any particular direction it's just changing so uh, yeah the code for the top is just calling a function and all the function is stored here in a, on a common dot so if you're going to use these noises somewhere else in other patches you should uh, copy this dead with the noise as well because all of the function it's very long that all of the functions comes in it and the way it's constructed on the first half or about so there is some hashes some simple noises uh, for different vectors like vec2 vec3 the similar noises and on the second half, it's more complex noises that sometimes, uh, let me found something for you. Okay, for example, here is a good example. This is a correct noise. I'm having it uh, somewhere here. Here is a correct noise. And uh, the, noise, the noise function itself, it's, uh, consists of two different other noise, other noise functions that uh, was referenced somewhere above. So that means that this is a complex noise that consists of two different noises. And in a way, if you good at JLSL, like intermediate or above, you could easily do, for, uh, for example, here I have uh, 10 noises and five more, a little bit I'll explain it later. But with uh, trying different things here and changing, like maybe instead of gradient noise, you could try to use Perlin noise or something else, that you could construct a much, much more different kind of noises. And even if you don't uh, know gel cell, you still could uh, experiment not only with this uh, parameter of a noise, but you could, most of the time, let me uh, crop, where is crop, here. I prefer to use crop for making tiles because it's more convenient to me. You could uh, use a crop for making tile and to be sure that there is no stitches and you could past, for example, composited 
com composite top and combine two different noises and in the most cases this combination this composite of two noises wouldn't have any visible stitches as well so as uh, that means that if you combine different noises and there is al almost unlimited variation of different noises you could create even without any GLSL knowledge so uh, please experiment with this as well and a little bit about uh, this noise collection some of the noises goes as a single top this is super easy to understand the other noises like this one it has this GLSL top and the render select so it's a se second buffer and uh, for example here on the second buffer I have a normal map uh, for texturing uh, where here is my example for texturing you could use this normal map and reference it in normal map bump in a funk but alternatively you could use the typical approach for example if I passed it here so you could use normal map top and then do some contrast and uh, well if you set up it and the play with setting you will get almost the same result so it's not a super necessary super necessary thing but it's good to have so you don't need to bother adding two more parameters and two more operators and do something with it all right what else and this noise fbm varanoi uh, the default setting from this uh, example from this uh, original collection was uh, this one but in my opinion there is a much more you could extract from this very very complex looking effect so it's there is a only one gel cell with a two different buffers it comes from this but you could also use some like monochrome and extract the different channels and get different effects here's r here's g on a b you have a little bit different look you could also do something with it for example here i'm limiting and zigzagging this noise and get completely different look and you could get so uh, all I meant here is that you could explore and create a new tileable noises just experimenting with these functions. All right, uh, this uh, ten, yeah, it's ten. All right, this is ten, but maybe a little bit more. Ten noises I'm sharing with everyone, and the rest five it's like a bonus for my patreon supporters and if you think this noise collection and my other tutorials is you useful for you or you like it or you want to support me you could do on my patreon page and also on my patreon page i have in may this uh, texture bump mapping for ray marching tool i'm sharing it with uh, my tires for more examples and above and here is a tree planner mapping for ray, ray marching uh, here i have it and by default uh, this is example i shared where you use some kind of uh, tileable texture from anywhere and do uh, like bump mapping for ray marched object but you also could uh, copy paste uh, any of uh, these uh, noises and use it instead and you'll get the tileable bump mapping for ray marched or you could uh, use not my example 
but any other way of uh, you could go to shader toy like uh, shader toy I don't know what this is it and ask for the tree planner mapping or just the trip tree planner And most of the triple planner mapping stuff, it uses any tileable texture. So you could use uh, some texture you could download from somewhere, or you could use any of these noises. So probably that's it. Let me think a little bit more. Do I need to explain something else to you? Mm, probably not. And uh, also, if you found some very nice looking combination or parameters for any of these noises, or if you create new noises from this Jello cell, please share it on Derivative Forum or here in our YouTube comments or somewhere else. And that's it for today. Goodbye. And hopefully you will find a very good and interesting use for this noise collection. Bye!